There was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile, and he found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. But the crooked man was sad, and once he had a thought, why should he be crooked when others they were not? Upon a chair he stood, his eyes were blank and dead. Without another thought, he went and hung his head. Now the story's not yet over, for this tale is myth and old. Go hide under the cover, there's something not yet told. There once was a crooked man who had a crooked smile. And if you've lived his life, he'll send you through a trial. He strives for your torment, makes it full of strife. And he won't be content until you take your life. Felt a Funeral in My Brain by Emily Dickinson I felt a funeral in my brain, and mourners to and fro kept treading, treading, till it seemed that sense was baking, breaking through. And when they all were seated, a service like a drum kept beating, beating, till I thought my mind was going numb. And then I heard them lift a box and creak across my soul, with those same boots of lead again, then space began to toll. As all the heavens were a bell, in being but an ear, and I in silence some strange race wrecked solitary here. And then a plank in reason broke, and I dropped down and down, and hit a world at every plunge, and finished knowing, then, Field of Skulls by Mary Carr. Stare hard enough at the fabric of night, and if you're predisposed to dark, let's say, the window you've picked is a black poacher's stamp you spend hours at, sleepless, drinking gin, after the I Love Lucy reruns have gone off. Stare, like your eyes have force, and behind any night's taut, grim, will come the forms you expect pressing from the other side. For you, a field of skulls, angled jaws and eye sockets, a zillion scooped out crania. They're plain once you think to look. You know such fields exist, for criminals roam your very block. And even history lists monsters like Adolf and Uncle Joe, who stalk the Earth's orb, plus minor baby eaters, unidentified, probably in your very midst. Perhaps that disgruntled mail clerk from your job has already scratched your name on a bullet. That's him, rustling in the azaleas. You caress the thought, for it proves there's no better spot for you than here, your square yard of chintz sofa, hearing the bad news piped steadily from your head. The night is black. You stare in furious stare, confident there are no gods out there. In this way, you're blind to your own eyes, intricate machine, and to the light it sees by, to the luck of birth and all your remembered loves. If the skulls are there, let's say they do press toward you against night's scrim, could they not, could they not stare with slack-jawed envy at the fine flesh that covers your scalp, the numbered hairs at the force your hand told? Child's Nightmare by Robert Graves. Through long nursery nights he stood by my bed, unwearying, loom gigantic, formless, queer, purring in my haunted ear. That same hideous nightmare thing, talking as he lapped my blood, in a voice cruel and flat, saying forever, cat, cat, cat. That one word was all he said, that one word through all my sleep, in monotonous mock despair. Nonsense may be light as air, but there's nonsense that can keep horror bristling round the head. When a cruel voice and flat says forever, cat, cat, cat. He had faded, he was gone, 
years ago with nursery land, when he leapt on me again from the clank of a night train, overpowered me foot and head, lapped my blood while on and on, the old voice cruel and flat says forever, cat, cat, cat. Morphia drowsed, again I lay, in a crater by high wood. He was there with straddling legs, staring eyes as big as eggs, purring as he lapped my blood, his black bulk darkening the day, with a voice cruel and flat, cat, 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 he said, cat, cat. When I'm shot through the heart and head, and there's no choice but to die, the last word I hear, no doubt, won't be charge or bomb them out, nor the stretcher bearers cry. Let that body be, he's dead, her voice cruel and flat, saying forever, cat, cat, cat. 